Hello everyone, this is how to rig a pole, uh, specifically pole daddy poles using VB script. This can work for several kinds of poles, but this is the one I'll be focusing on today because I know a lot of places use it. So the first thing I'm going to do, right here you've got, um, I just set this up, it's a pole, using pole daddy. So how it works, you choose one, you vote, and it has the poles. See, A1 is so much because I've been working on this bot for a while. Um, and I've r ran it several times, and you can see how it stacks up 285 against 3, 1, 2, 1. It's not even close. So if you guys want to know how to do this, just keep watching. So what we're going to need to do is open any editor, um, Notepad++ or Notepad. This all comes on any Windows machine. So um, I'm going to open Notepad++, but there's Notepad on every uh, machine, and you can use that is fine. So this is essentially all the code. And I'm not going to get into the specifics of this code because, uh, I mean, that's not what you guys came to see. You guys came to see how to rig it. So what you're going to need to do is just copy this code. It'll be in the description. You can copy it. And then paste this into your editor. Now, the things I need to change are the URL. these two things, and then the URL again. So let me add that this is also pole specific. So everything else you can keep the same. Um, votes you can change for how many, but the thing is with Poll Daddy I know that it's uh, limited to uh, about 25 votes per hour because then it blocks your IP, uh, but then you're able to do that again. It, it works with several Poll Daddy settings, not just like the most liberal ones, it's all of them. Uh, almost all of them, except the ones that block uh, really closely. So you're going to want to do all this, and then you're going to go to your website, so this one, so this has a poll, but any website with a poll on it will work like this. You copy the link, you go in here, and then where mine says poll.html, paste it in there. Right? It looks the same because it's the same. Uh, link and then down here you would also do the same thing, highlight it, and then copy the other one in. Alright, now in here, well before I do this, um, I'm going to just say something important. You can save this as whatever you want as long as it ends in VBS, because this is a VB script file, Visual Basic script, and that means that um, a, it's a language that's already loaded onto every Windows machine, and you can use it however you want, um, and you don't have to download anything extra. This is just run straight from your computer. So when you save it, you want to end it with .vbs, like it says right there. Uh, and I'll save it as a Visual Basic script file. Alright, so now for, for these answers, these are the other two ones you need to switch. Other than that, you can just change how many votes you want and keep it going. Uh, if it's like Poll Daddy and it's... Um, it's metered like that, then you're gonna need to, um, you're gonna need to, um, sorry, you're gonna need to uh, just do it every once in a while. This one it clicks A, but there's different uh, things you can click for each one. So what you're gonna need to do is go to your poll, uh, so, so like right here, and then you want to right click and do inspect. And this will bring this up on the side. So as you can see, when I go on something over here, it highlights what you want over here, right? So if I go over this, it highlights that. If I go over this, it highlights that. If I go over, you know, this, it highlights that whole thing. So you want to go to the circle of. You want to go as far down as you can into the exact circle, okay? Because so these are called radio buttons, and once you get to the radio button. This is all you need to do is find the ID. Okay, so where it says ID equals, and then it has that. So control C, th that copies it. So that's what you need. For this, it's PDI underscore answer 46155388. So you control C, you copy that, you can just do normal uh, copy and go to. space, you do that, okay, so now control S, that 
saves it, and these are just some shortcuts with the keyboard. Um, so now here you want to find the actual vote button, so that's a little different. So for both of these you want to click them, because it'll be like you're actually clicking it. This is using um, Internet Explorer, um, just built in the computer. It won't use Chrome, it has to use Internet Explorer, because um, it's built into the Windows machine, and that's how VBS works with it. So now, what you can do is just click on vote, right click, and do inspect. Alright, so that'll go down to the actual letters, but you want to go out a level to here, and that's the whole button, because that's what you want to click. You don't want to just click the words, you want to click the button. So once again, you just go to the ID, control C, or just copy, and then you go right here, and control V, or, and then control S, and that saves it. Alright, now I have it set up so that if I press Alt space it'll run it, but what you can also do is do just, um, I guess you can just do run, I mean, let's try that, well, what you can also do is, what I like a lot, um, you can go right here and go to projects, and, alright, so this is the pull diagram right here, so what, what you can do is send to desktop create shortcut. Alright, so now what will happen if you leave all this, you get this. Alright, so this is what you're going to need. So right here, I just double clicked it, I actually didn't need to do that, so we're going to exit out. If you exit out, obviously, it does that. But, so, now you can just double click this and watch what happens. I don't know if you can see, but it's gone from 292, 293, it, it was at 289, now it's already at 297. Uh, it's just across 300. Um, it's going to keep doing this, we're at 305 now. It's going to keep doing this until it blocks you out. Sometimes it'll run an exception if the website messes up. But, um, so right now, so it did about 20 votes um, before doing this, and that's because the poll starts blocking it then. But this is a quick way to get as many votes as possible. So once it starts blocking it, it's going to have a cooldown period. And after that period, you can come back in and you can do the same thing. Um, so the cooldown cool period is going to be usually around an hour. Um, so if you if it's a short-term poll that you need to do, that's just like on for a day, if you just set alarms to you know, come back every hour or so, then you'll be able to get, I mean, what, a couple hundred votes? Uh, all just by some quick copy and paste and then running it every hour. So if I ran this again, you see it stays at 310. Um, and that's because, you know, it, it started blocking me. But what's important to know, you can also in Chrome uh, inspect any of the other buttons and then see that exception that just happens sometimes uh, with the website. So what's important to know is you can do any button like that and yeah, you'll be able to rig a poll. Uh, it's pretty basic. Um, like I said, the code will be in the description if you need to use it. And that's pretty much all I've got to say. That is how to rig a poll.